you'll fail as a footballer if you do this. And this thing I'm going to be going over and then teaching you the opposite so that you can, you know, actually improve is something I see in at least half of the players I either coach or just observe. Um, it is one of the most crippling things. And not only does it hurt you in the short term, but it, it really hurts you over the long term, over the months, years of your career as you're developing as a player. So I'm going to be going over what it is and what you can do instead. That's coming up next. This video is sponsored by Rugged Sports, where you can actually enter to win a free goal from them. I love these goals. They're so easy to assemble, and you're able to use them at a field where you may not have anything else to use, no goals, no equipment. And I love to use them for my own training sessions, whether I'm by myself or with someone else. They're great for team trainings. And the great thing about these goals is they only take a couple of minutes to put up and to take apart. And they also come with their own carrying case so that they're easy to transport to and from the field. Let's get into the video. Hi guys, welcome to Simply Soccer. If you're new here, my name is Dave and on this channel, we release weekly soccer tip, technique and training videos all designed to help you improve your game and stand out on the pitch as a footballer. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you don't miss any of the videos released uh, that we release. And as always as well, if you don't have my free ebook, Game Changer, um, it's a great comprehensive ebook that gives you 33 different ways to improve your game. Again, absolutely free. You can check that out down below. Now again, I want to go over something that just causes so many players to fail or not get better or to progress slowly when they could be progressing much faster. Um, and it's something they do in their training. It's something, again, most players do because I think, again, one of the most important things in football is developing the mentality, the mental side of the game. And this is something that plays into that. And the number one mistake, the thing that causes players to fail so much is going through the motions in their training. Now, some of you might not know what that means. Uh, some of you might know what that means. So I'm gonna explain what it is. And I'm gonna be explaining what you should be doing instead. So going through the motions essentially means that you're packing it in. You are not giving 100%. You are just doing the bare minimum to get by in your training session. So maybe you're juggling, but you're not hooked into the moment. You're doing some passing drills, but you're, you know, your body language just kind of a little loose. You know, you're, you're just kind of doing the bare minimum. You're not really giving your all or giving the 100% needed. You're not focused in. You're distracted. You're, you know, your, your energy is low. And nothing is going to cause you to develop averagely um, more over time, and especially also in the short term, than doing this. You know, the highest performing athletes and people understand that the more they can get in flow and hook into their training, giving 100%, doing their best, the faster they will improve. And the famous saying, especially for football, is you will play the way you train. And what that means is you will pick up habits in your training that will then be used in your matches. And so if you get used to going through the motions, only giving 70, 80%, you know, kind of being dis interested in your training, then that is going to transfer over into your matches eventually. And you'll find yourself kind of, you know, lumbering around in your games as well in the same way you do in training. But the great thing about this is the opposite is true as well. And so if you in your training are giving 100%, you are hooked into the training session, you are aware, you're in your instincts, allowing yourself to move from your instincts, you're in flow, and you are playing to the best of your ability in training, you're going to then take that into your matches. And you will find players that do this, that are hooked into their training session, hooked into flow as they're training. You know, if their energy drops, they raise it right back up. You'll find that these are the consistent performers in matches. These are the ones who you can't get the ball off of. They continually score consistently. They're, they're rock solid defenders that concede very little. They're goalkeepers that never lose their concentration. Because in their training, they are not only practicing their skills with the ball and their positioning, their tactics, they are training their mind to always be hooked into the game and not have it, you know, being drawn elsewhere. And so, 
make sure in your trading you are not going through the motions. Make sure you are hooked in. And a great way to do that is just get into the moment. Most players go through the motions because they're distracted. They're thinking about something. They're disinterested. They're not paying attention to what they're doing. But if you really focus on taking that touch and really feeling the ball, making sure you're doing all those things that you know you need to do, really hooking into your instincts when you're training, that's how you're going to get into flow. And that's how you're going to prevent yourself from going through the motions in your games. And the more you can do that, again, in your trading, the more it will transfer to your matches. So guys, question of the day is, do you find yourself more in flow when you train or do you find yourself going through the motions? And if you're going through the motions, just be aware of that and start working on just trying to hook into your training sessions when you see your energy getting down to amp yourself back up, hook yourself back into your session, fully focus on what you're doing now and you will get better at it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I'm going to put two other videos up on screen as usual to help you continue improve your, to improve your game and stand out on the pitch. Again, check out my free ebook, Game Changer, if you haven't gotten it already. Make sure you're not going through the motions in your training, and I'll see you in the next video.